So, welcome back to the channel, guys. My name is Raihan. I'm a fourth year medical student. Actually, I'm an integrated medical student at Imperial College London. Yes, I'm gassed. I want to tell the world I'm at Imperial College now. But, anyways, more videos on that will come soon. So, today's video is actually the start of a series on your elective. Now, medical and dental students will be going on their elective this year, and it's best to prepare early. So, this video I want to talk about how to pick your medical elective. Before I start I want to say a big thank you to Projects Abroad for sponsoring this video and um, I will talk about the company more in detail at the end of this video. However, if you want a discount, if you want to check out the website or if you're considering going on your elective then I'll leave the links in the description and make sure you check them out. If you use my code as well you will get a discount and yeah, enjoy. Now, this video will be split into three parts, okay, so things to consider, uh, picking a country and what can you offer. Now, the first section, things to consider. Okay, so before you go to a country, right, you have to take a few things into consideration. So, for example, this is something that I usually think about. Now, racism, discrimination, this is a big problem. I've been to a few countries where I've experienced racism to the point where taxi drivers will not pick you up because of this color of your skin and it can be a lot more serious than that okay so you have to take that into consideration now there are statistics and figures um, on racial discrimination online and you can have a look at that um, before you pick the country another thing as well um, usually one thing I do is I like to watch videos or vlogs on that country before I actually visit and um, so there are a lot of vlogs out there on different countries, travel vlogs, etc., where people have gone on holiday there and, and recorded videos. So make sure you check them out as well. But don't base it off of one person's vlog because that person might be a boring person, might have done boring stuff. So really that vlog is not representative of that the experience in the country. So make sure you check out a few different vlogs and then decide that way. Finally, the last thing to consider is that you want this to be a balance of both personal and professional development. Now, an elective is supposed to be good fun, it's a, like a holiday, but remember, you are there to learn about a healthcare system, about health conditions, about medicine in a different country. So make sure you choose a country where you, you are interested in their healthcare system. So for example, if you're interested in accident and emergency in your future, then make sure you consider South, South Africa's trauma centers, like they're one of the best trauma centers in the world. Or if you're interested in learning about free healthcare systems around the world, Costa Rica, they're a demilitarized country, they've spent a lot of their military budget on their healthcare uh, system. So again, another country with free healthcare, which you can compare to the NHS. Now, those are the main things to consider. When it comes to choosing a country, the way I chose was like, okay, which country have I never been to, which country would I like to go to, which country would I like to learn about, where would I like to go to learn more about the culture. So for example, initially what came to my mind was Japan, China, um, particularly Shanghai, etc. But the problem with Shanghai is it's very, very expensive and if I went to Shanghai it would mean that I can't go to other places. If I did four weeks in Shanghai, like I wouldn't have any money left for other places. So again. You have to take all of these things into consideration. Now, there are websites where I will put the link in the description which can tell you, right, how much is this country, living costs in that country, living costs in this country, living costs in this city. So I use that to then calculate, right, roughly I will have this much money left um, or roughly I will have that much money left. Because we are students, our budget is tight, so obviously we have to take all of these things into consideration. Finally, uh, one thing you have to pay attention to is the government travel advice website, okay? Because whenever there's a problem in a country, the government then releases um, a statement which says citizens can't travel to that country or they shouldn't travel to that country. Now, based on your medical school's insurance policy, um, basically you won't be allowed to travel to those countries that the government advises not to go to. So. An example is Sudan. One of my friends from Sudan and he wasn't allowed to travel to Sudan because it's on the list of countries where you're not allowed to travel to. And 
for example, Sri Lanka. Sri Lanka is a very popular destination. However, after the terrorist attacks this, this past year, everyone who had booked their elective in Sri Lanka had to cancel it because the government had then advised you can't travel to um, Sri Lanka, which meant that the, the medical school's insurance doesn't co cover their elective. And that's why they lost out all that money unless they were insured by an independent um, insurance company and then they got that money back. Now, this is why it's very important to consider and look at the government travel advice website. Now, the final thing that I want to say is what can you offer? Okay, so in an elective, right? When you're going to do an elective, you're probably going to go to a third world country most of the time. Most That's what most people do. Now, when you go to a third world country, their resources are limited. Okay, they lack all the resources. They lack the medical teaching. So can you offer teaching? Can you provide them with resources that you've brought from the UK? Um, a lot of the time, hospitals do have leftover equipment, which they're not using because it's expired or they've just ordered too many and it's going to go out of date or, or whatnot okay but these are things like you know uh needles and, and 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 whatnot now if you politely ask someone at your hospital can i take these um i'm going on my medical elective and i would like to um donate them to the hospital that i'm going to be working at then usually the med the the hospital are fine with this so ask your medical school and ask the hospital if you can and take some resources with you if, if possible. Another thing that you can take is teaching equipment. Now, a lot of medical schools have expired or out of date or old medical textbooks. Now, these books might be out of date or out of use in the UK. However, these will be very beneficial in a third world country. So these are countries which they barely have access to the internet. A lot of them do, but do you know what I mean? Like they've just recently had access to the internet their books are very outdated. They don't have the resources for these books. So for a country like this, the books that you're gonna take will be very helpful and it will be used for many, many years. Yeah, finally, medical equipment. You know, you can buy stethoscopes for like two pound, three pound on Amazon. If you're willing to do this, then buy a couple of stethoscopes, take it to the hospital like you're gonna be working at. And honestly, it will be so much help to them because I remember when I took my stethoscope uh, on my elective, the nurses told me to keep that stethoscope close and with me at all times because they don't have stethoscopes and well, the doctors, not all the doctors and medical students can afford stethoscopes in that country. So they steal other people's stethoscopes because it's just like, that's the only way they'll get one. So be careful. Um, and I would advise just take some stethoscopes like they, they are quite cheap and if I knew if I knew earlier I, I, I would have taken it because it's actually very cheap to get you know 10 set scopes for like 20 quid and it would help like 10 different doctors you know what I mean or even if they're like department set scopes at least they can have a bigger bank of set scopes to use so yeah now like I said this video was brought to you by projects abroad and um, this is the t-shirt that I'm wearing that they've sent out to me as well. They sent me out on my elective in Vietnam. And um, I wanna say a big thank you to them. And also I wanna talk about the company. So Projects Abroad have been doing medical, dental, midwifery, and nursing electives, plus much more business as well. Many more electives. Um, and they offer work experience abroad. So if you're applying to medicine or if you're a medical student or a dentistry student or a midwifery student you can do your elective with projects abroad um, i'll leave a link in the description and they do literally all over the world so you can go south america you can go africa you can go asia there's literally so many options available i was struggling to choose between jamaica kenya and vietnam in the end i went with vietnam but yeah that's everything for this video. I hope this was helpful. There's, there's going to be a few more videos to come, so make sure you check them out as well. But all the links will be in the description. Thanks for watching, guys, and bye for now.